the name of our Lord Jesus. The book of Psalms, chapter number 93. This is a psalm with very few verses, five verses. And it is a psalm that tells us who God is. The Bible says in verses 1, The Lord reigns, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established, firm and secure. Your throne was established a long ago. You are from all eternity. Verses 3 says, The seas have lifted up, Lord, the seas have lit lifted up their voices, the seas have lifted up their pounding waves, mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breaks of the sea. The Lord is on high and mighty. Verses 5, your status, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorn your house for endless days. So the psalmist here is telling us how mighty God is. You may be praying thinking that your problems are greater than anything else. You may say that you don't have hope because there is no one who can help you solve the issue. But let me tell you here what the Bible is saying. God is more powerful than the ocean. God is more powerful than all the waters on the surface of earth combined. He is so powerful than the voices of the water. He is mightier than the thunder of the great waters. The waters can produce a lot of noise, a lot of waves, but God is mightier than them all. So I encourage you, when you pray, always focus on Him because He is a mighty God. He can change your life. He can do miracles for you. He is God. He is bigger than your situation. You may be having a river or an ocean of troubles, but the Bible tells me here that He is mightier than the, than the bricks of the sea. He is mightier than the thunder of the great waters. He is bigger than the waters. So when you go through hell, I want you to know that God is on your side. The Bible talks about God fighting for us. The Bible says our woes are not our own woes. They are woes that God is fighting for us. We are victorious through Christ Jesus because he has taken away our shame. He has taken away all the pain and he is our fighter. He is fighting for us. So the Bible is clear here. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters. Mightier than the bricks of the sea. He is so good. He is so big. He is a big-breasted God, meaning He can take us in. He can, he, can just, he can just love us all together in the mighty name of Jesus. I just love Him because He does things for us that no one can do for us. I want to pray with you. You have been going through pain. Maybe you've been sick for some time. Jesus can heal you. Jesus can deliver you. Jesus can protect you once again. Father, I thank you. I thank you for this person who is viewing me right now. Maybe they lost hope in life. Maybe their life has no meaning anymore. They see as if their problems are bigger than anyone else. I want to encourage you who you are, who you are watching me that today God is going to do something in your life. Through this broadcast, God is going to visit you right now. I speak, Lord God, that you visit this person 
who has decided that he is going to turn his life around, who has decided that God is going to move their lives around. Father, may you make this lady, may you make this man, may you make this girl a vessel of honor. Father, I declare freedom in their lives. Every captive thing that the devil had trapped them with, I reverse it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak victory upon their lives. I speak testimonies of what you can do in their lives. Lord Jesus, you are worthy to be worshipped. I speak that by the stripes of Jesus, they are made whole. By the stripes of Jesus, their lives are having a turn around. Lord God, I thank you because I know that we shall receive many testimonies of what you are doing in people's lives. Father, if they are going through financial constraints, I speak provision upon their lives. I speak favor upon their lives. I speak new deals upon their lives. Lord God, may you provide for them what the enemy had stolen, what the armyworms had eaten, what the locusts had destroyed. I speak restoration of a hundredfold return. The way uh, Je- the way Jacob was the way uh, 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 Jacob was restored, and the same way Job's life was restored. May you restore this person's life. Lord God, as they continue to serve you, may you stand with them. I thank you, Jesus, for healing for that daughter, for that man who is going through pain, the cancers in their body, the asthma in their body, the ulcers in their body. I speak healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, you are the one who healed our diseases. Lord God, you promised that you are going to heal us. You promised that you are going to restore us. You are going to give us strength like that of an eagle. Father, I speak strength. I speak restoration. That man who is in the hospital bed, that woman, that lady who is at the hospital bed, I speak restoration. I nullify the works of the devil. Every, everything that he has preached to you about death, about lameness, about being a useless person, I cancel it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I speak restoration. I speak that, Lord God, this person's life is going to be beneficial to the society. Father, I thank you. Even for that person, Lord God, who has given hope in love because maybe they lost the loved one, because maybe they were played in their relationship, because maybe people looked down upon them. Father, I speak that you are going to bring them the new beginnings. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak about the new beginnings, the relationship that has no suffering, the relationship that we will say that surely this is the doing of the Lord. Father, I thank you because I know that you are going to do something in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Keep the fire of the Lord burning. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And make sure you share with a friend so that they can also be blessed. They can also have something, a hope in their life. And that hope is through Christ Jesus. May the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.